one heck of a round out there, 61, uh, 11 under. That's uh, your low on tour. Um, just some thoughts on that round and uh, six birdies in a row in the middle. Yeah, uh, I've been putting really nice all season. Uh, it's kind of a course that if you you know keep it in play, keep it in front of you, you have a lot of wedges, you end up with a lot of looks for birdie, and it's just one of those days that I saw a ton of putts go in. 20 putts, that's uh, probably a record for you, and I know the six birdies in a row is a career best for you as well. Just what does it mean to kind of continue to improve and, and sort of set those personal records for yourself? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to run my own race. Uh, I, I didn't start the season the way I wanted to, obviously. It was really slow. Uh, I've had a, some tournaments where I've kind of flashed a little bit. Uh, so, I mean, just trying to keep improving my form. I know that we still have, including the fall, 10 events or so. Or uh, So I'm just trying to run my own race and see where I end up at the end of the year. So on Sunday last week, you shot 64, which was your career low. You yeah. improved on that. Just, what sort of confidence did it give you when you shoot low rounds like that? Yeah, it just shows that you can kind of piece it together even when you don't feel like you're playing your best. Uh, I still feel like I have a long ways to go to get to where I want to be, but I know that, uh, like like you said, Sunday, John Deere was a good step in the right direction. This is obviously continuing that right direction. Can you just give us a, a quick run-through of those six booties in a row? Oh, yeah, where do we start? Uh, the Yeah, the par five... Uh, I missed the fairway, had to lay up to about 100 yards and hit that to about 12 or 12 feet a little outside that, made that for birdie. Uh, on five, missed it in the right rough and hit it to about 20 feet and made that for birdie. Uh, hit a really nice wedge shot on seven in there to about five feet. And then eight, hit on the right fringe, about 50 feet, uh, pretty simple two putt. Uh, nine was probably the best of the birdies. I was in the right bunker, had a nice line, the upslope. And, uh, I made that, and then uh, yeah, on ten, again found the fairway to wedge uh, to a pin that is accessible to with the wedge, and kind of I don't know, hit it in about four or five feet again, and had a pretty simple putt there. So uh, I think it's the fifteenth, the par five, when you hit it on the green there. How, cl how close were you there? Or? Uh, on fifteen, I was about ten feet or so. So you felt like you had a chance to make eagle at that point? Yeah, no, I was disappointed after kind of finding the fairway and hitting a nice iron shot in there, about ten feet. The way things were going, I, I certainly didn't expect to miss it. So when it didn't break into the hole, I was a little bit shocked. But, uh, I mean, I just tried to stay patient. I, I knew that was still a nice score. My goal was to make a four and go on to the next. Did that magic number kind of cross your mind at all at that point? I mean, not not really, yeah. just because. Yeah, I don't know. You just kind of get into a spot where things are going your way. You're not really thinking about what number you're shooting. You're just trying to go get another one. And uh, yeah, maybe if I was whatever 12 under in the last fairway or something like that, like it would have crossed my mind. But uh, I, I don't think I really got within. You know, I wasn't overly close to getting it. All right. Perfect. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you.